the young men and women who have volunteered to serve and protect their communities as members of the United States military have been under attack by their own government for over a century, experimented on like laboratory animals with mustard gas, plutonium, Agent Orange, and depleted uranium. But what we are experiencing now is the final destruction of the entire U.S. military from within. Those with enough sense to refuse the gene therapy shots are being forced out of military service. Navy SEALs who refused the jab have been denied deployment and even denied permission to travel for medical treatment. But more than two-thirds of the entire U.S. military have chosen to receive this life-altering vaccine, which has now proven to be catastrophic. Attorney at law Todd Callender, who is representing the U.S. Navy SEALs versus President Joe Biden, has recently reported an 1,100% increase in U.S. military deaths as a result of these mRNA injections. And based on their latest data, they expect this number to soon rise above 5,000%. A leaked military database from the Department of Defense shows us that while the public was being told that it's a crisis of the unvaccinated, the Defense Secretary and Upper Command knew 71% of all new cases were among the fully vaccinated. The Department of Defense knew what they were doing, and the proper charges are genocide. If you look at all of the documentation, Pfizer's documentation, that they, uh, we did mass spectrometry on their vials, we know what's in these things. And in fact, they even admit that they added an HIV protein into the shots for the purpose of disabling people's autoimmune. Right? They couldn't slip these lipid nanoparticles, which are in fact little bombers that carry pathogenic proteins um, to, to effectuate gene modification in the individual, gene therapy as they call it. In order to get those lipid nanoparticles past your cellular defense, your body's defense, they had to disarm your immune system. Yes. And they did that. It's in all the scientific papers. What they didn't do is undo that. And right now they're coming to understand this. People are showing up HIV positive, People with three shots have no immune system left over whatsoever. There is no other way to characterize this other than intentional homicide, the unlawful taking of a human life, except that it's in large numbers, which makes it a genocide. A vaccine delivered AIDS epidemic. That's right. That's correct. Reporting for InfoWars, this is Greg Reese. Thank you for watching the latest Greg Reese Report. Be sure to go to reesreport.com to see my latest videos, sign up for my free newsletter, and subscribe for exclusive content. And be sure to support my sponsor at infowarstore.com. Do you want to keep want seeing, to keep content, seeing content, like content like this? We are living through the oldest scam in the history of the civilized world the one wherein the ruling class burn it all down in an attempt to erase their failed past. Order out of chaos. Now they are at their weakest, and we can build something of our own. The new economy is simple. Pay for what you want, how you want it, and starve the system. Starve the system and create a new one. The days of asking for what we want are over. The new economy is already here. It is the only way to survive the man-made storm that is coming. As the globalists implode their old system, we will create a new one. Do you want to keep banned.video? Start now when we need you the most at InfoWarsStore.com.